Maybe you're thinking, what does all this have to do with me and how I live my life? So plastic, it's a kind of a necessity. We have it everywhere. Um, the idea is how do you make a single use plastic a multiple use plastic? Every day I make myself a sandwich. I could put it in one of these sandwich bags, but instead I use a reusable sandwich keeper. It keeps it from getting squished in my lunch bag and it also gets to be washed and reused. They stack nice and neat, you know, so I don't have to worry about that. I also have reusable water bottles that I always use. Never do I use those disposable bottles. I started making oatmeal for myself probably 10 years ago. And uh, I started by using those Quaker oat little sachets full of oatmeal. Now I make my own oatmeal. We have a, a recipe and uh, we put it into a little plastic bag. Now I just told you that I didn't like using those plastic bags. What's crazy is we were talking about this during the, the pandemic in 2020. This was three years ago. These kids that I was teaching are now in ninth grade. They were seventh graders back then. They might be in 10th grade, actually. Um, but anyway, they're, um, I think they are in 10th grade. One of the kids challenged me to reuse my plastic sandwich bags because I was complaining about it. So now when I make my um, oatmeal and I put it in here, my little packets of it there, I then save the bags in here. Now, you might think that's gross, but it's just dry ingredients. And so it kind of shakes out pretty easy, right? It comes out really easily. And then I just put it in my other bag and I save it. Now, believe it or not, most of these bags are still from 2020 when I was challenged by one of my students to do that. So I just keep them in my cabinet and that's how I make my oatmeal in the morning. Those many years ago when I started making oatmeal, I would use two packets, two of those sachets of uh, the disposable con envelopes full of uh, oatmeal every day. So in 24 days of school, I would use 48 of those little things. Imagine how much trash I was throwing away. Now I go and I make my own recipe and I use these ingredients and this will make 24 little baggies of oatmeal. And I get, I only, all I have to throw away is this cardboard container. Unfortunately, there's a plastic lid on it. Um, I, this takes a long time to use up. So I get several batches out of that and I throw one Ziploc bag of raisins away. If I'm really creative, I can think of another use for that bag, like, trash in my car or something Every like that. Every step of my morning, I think about how do I reduce how much garbage? Now, once I've come up with the plan, I just do it the same way every time. This is, uh, you know, oh, this is gonna go to the microwave. Notice I'm using a, a real metal spoon. All my oatmeal is gonna go into this metal cup. I used to put it in a styrofoam cup so I could just throw away the styrofoam cup and the plastic spoon when I got to school. But I figured out that if I just put this in here, uh, this will, if I clean it out good enough, it doesn't stink or anything like that. And I can bring it home and put it in the wash, uh, the dishwasher, and it's ready for tomorrow. This is where I'm gonna put my tea. It's a reusable cup, right? And it's gonna keep it nice and warm. But my tea, unfortunately, when my wife bought my tea, which is right here, she bought this kind of tea. I'm almost done with it. I've got three sachets left. This tea comes in a plastic, um, sachet makes me very not happy. Uh, it's the first, I just started drinking tea, uh, about a month ago or two months ago. And my wife, um, you know, bought this kind and I asked her to please get me Lipton green tea because Lipton green tea comes in a paper sachet. It won't seal it up as well as this does. I guess the tea won't be as fresh, but I'm not that picky. And when I throw it away, it won't be uh, a bit of plastic garbage that'll never go away. It'll be some paper that I can recycle or compost. Even little things like, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna buy honey so I can put it in my tea and in my oatmeal. I use local honey from Sawmill Charlie's Bee Farm. He's right on Mountain Road, right down the street from me. A couple of reasons I wanna do that. One is that this was not transported anywhere. I was coming on the way home from school. I stopped at this place that I have to drive past anyway. I bought my honey there. I'm so supporting a local guy who's raising bees, and I get the benefits of the uh, of the pollen that is collected in this 
in this honey because the uh, pollen is local, which means that my allergies will be helped because the bees are getting their pollen from the plants that I am allergic to in the area. If I could think of a use for that, I'd probably use it. So work just as well, if not better than styrofoam. So I rarely don't eat uh, sandwiches, but I have some leftovers because um, I don't want to let that food go to waste and I'm going away this weekend. So, all right. Got, this is some of the only things that bother me. I do have a bar, two bars every day and um, they have uh, little plastic mylar wrappers and I can't recycle them. I can't figure out a way to buy that kind of stuff without that garbage that I'm going to be producing. But you'll notice that I do take um, all of my uh, stuff and I put it into... Actually, I'm going to flip this over so I don't hurt my apple. Um, but anyway, I, do, I put it all into a reusable lunch bag, right? So I don't have to throw away my lunch bag. And so if I look in here, the only garbage that I'm going to have is the wrappers from these bars because this is washable and this is compostable. What I'll do is I'll eat these things and I'll take the core and the peel and I'll put it back into this when I'm done with it. And, uh, you know, I need a fork for that because I'm going to be eating leftovers today. I'm going to need a fork. So I'm going to grab a fork from the the drawer because I can bring that home and wash it as well. All of the, I mean, I could have gotten a plastic fork. Miss Mallhausen has plastic forks in her classroom. Could have done that. And if I'd have forgotten a fork, that's what I would have had to do. But I'm going to be able to wash that fork and not have to throw away a fork. Okay, so my tea is done uh, brewing. I'm going to get the tea bag out and it can go directly into the compost because that can be turned into some soil for my garden later on. Top this off with some honey, local honey, of course, and it's in a reusable cup, so I can make sure that I just put that in the wash, the dishwasher, and I won't have to worry about that. So I'm all packed up for lunch. That's what I'm taking, and a water bottle. And uh, now it's just time to do some cleanup. And when I do my cleanup, I try to use something that's not like paper, you know? It's gonna be Something that I can just throw in the wash. So, you know, a nice cloth rag. And then all of my cleanup is just going into the dishwasher. So being a responsible steward over what the earth has given to us, you know, everything that we use, everything that we own came from the earth. It's the only thing we have. And, and if you're thinking about it in terms of stewardship, it really means that you're just borrowing uh, temporarily from the earth and returning it to the earth, uh, whether it goes into a landfill or, or whatever. But if you're constantly using plastic and, and constantly throwing away plastic, then um, you know that's not a very responsible, thoughtful way to use the resources that we've gotten from the earth. Uh, I was just trying to give you a little bit of a glimpse of some of the thought that my wife and I have had when we, um, you know, came up with how we were going to live our lives. And a lot of it has to do with my wife. She's, she thinks about these things when she's at the grocery store. She thought about it a long time ago, and now it just comes second nature to her. She knows what she wants to buy. We make little tweaks like changing our tea bags and things like that. But, um, you know, it's not, it doesn't require a whole lot of thought after a while because you've already, um, you know, made all those decisions a long time ago um, to be the best steward of what we have. Anyway, have a good day and think about what you can do differently in your life uh, that will impact how much waste you produce and how much plastic might end up uh, getting not recycled uh, or thrown away or even worse, out in the watershed. So the best thing to do uh, to commute to work is, if you're an adult, is to pick a place 
to work that's close to your house. I used to live really close to my work, but um, I don't anymore. And so I have a 20 minute commute or so, maybe 15. So when I bought my truck, which I have to have to run camp and tow my trailer, I picked one called an Eco, with an EcoBoost engine. One of the things that I have, this is my uh, dashboard thing. So it, it tells me what my mileage is. My average miles per gallon is on the left side here. It says 24.8 and that's, that's really high. I, I just started it and I don't think it's actually averaged it right. But I've got my foot on the brake and I'm still moving and the, and the, uh, the engine is idling right now. And so it's saying that I'm getting 30 or more miles per gallon at this moment. But watch what happens when I go through this intersection and I have to give it a little bit of gas to keep up with the car in front of me. So you see how it dropped down? That's saying, oh, you're only going so fast and so going so far, but you're using this much gas. So as I take my foot back off the gas, it comes back up. Putting that as my, um, my display, what I'm looking at all the time, my objective is to keep it as green as possible because I'm trying to use very little gasoline as I'm traveling down the road. Uh, it changes the way that I step on the gas pedal. It changes the, how often I step on the brakes. Obviously I'll step on the brakes if I have to, but if I can get away with just going slower, um, then I don't end up using my brakes and I get this awesome gas mileage. This is mindset stuff, right? If I was racing around and flooring it from place to place, I would be using up gas. Not only would it cost me more money, but I'm emitting greenhouse gases out of my tailpipe. So um, this is just another way that I'm thinking about how am I impacting the planet as I go through my daily life.